On day one, I woke up in the middle of the Playtime Company factory. I was Boxy Boo, and I had 20 hearts. Whoa, where am I? As I was looking around, a man in a suit walked in. Hello, Boxy Boo. My name is Elliot Ludwig, and I am your creator. What is my purpose? Your purpose is to do my bidding. Right now, my bidding is for you to kill that guy. It was Steve, and he was trapped in a glass pod. Please. Don't kill me. I want to live. Suddenly something came over me. I broke open Steve's pod and started to attack him. Ah, no. He tried to run away and escape into another room, but I was faster than him. I found a different entrance in the room and hid in my box before Steve noticed me. Gotta hide, gotta hide. He was looking for a hiding spot. Little did he know, I already had my eyes on him. He slowly inched closer to me, and when he got close enough, I sprung out at him. Ah. I ate Steve, and he was delicious! I'm so proud of you. This experiment is a resounding success. Why don't you rest here for now? I have to go. I'll see you soon. He handed me some cooked meats and started to leave. What should I do in the meantime? Why don't you make sure everyone is subscribed to the channel? Oh, good idea. Only 17% of the viewers are actually subscribed to the channel. And we need to get that number up. So hit the subscribe button. And while you're at it, click the notification bell so you never miss another video. With that, I went to find a spot to rest for the night. On day two, I woke up to the facility alarms going off. I ran outside of my room and a strange bunch he ran up to me. The bunny placed down a birthday cake. Happy birthday! Oh, okay. The bunny ran off. Wait, where are you? Ah! What the heck? I ate some meat to heal up and then went back into the factory room. Elliot was waiting there with a giant pink spider lady. You never should have returned here, Elliot. Now you're going to pay. She attacked him, knocking him onto the ground. Good luck with that dork. I'm leaving the factory to wreak havoc on the world. She left, and I ran over to Elliot. He was still breathing. <coughs> that was Mommy Longlegs. <coughs> you have to stop her before she destroys everything. Okay, I will do your bidding, because that's my purpose. Good. Good. <coughs> no! On day three, I was running around the factory, trying to find an exit, when I came across a creepy little doll. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm scared too. Ah, a talking doll. I hid in my box in fear. No, don't be scared of me. My name's Poppy. I'm here to help you. Oh, okay. Do you know how to kill Mommy Longlegs? Oh, a meat grinder might do the trick, but that might be a little tough. Ugh, oh, this is too hard. She's so strong. Oh, don't get discouraged. I know you can do this. You'll have to beat all of the playtime experiments, but you'll get stronger along the way. So you're telling me that I have to kill all the experiments within the 100 days challenge? So that means everyone has to watch till the end of the video to watch me defeat Mommy Longlegs. But wait, which experiment should I fight first? You should probably start with Huggy Wuggy. First defeat him, then I'll tell you who to go after next. And where might he be? <laughs> He's still in the factory. Good luck. Why can't you help me? I don't want to get my hands dirty. With that, I left the room to go looking for Huggy Wuggy. On day four, I decided I was going to need some armor and weapons if I wanted to take on Huggy Wuggy by myself. First, I gathered up some wood from some random places in the factory and used it to make a wooden pickaxe. Good thing I know how to improvise. I started digging down under the factory and eventually I hit a cave system. I found coal and iron pretty quickly, then made a few furnaces and smelted the iron. Then I used it to craft a full iron tool set and armor set. This should do nicely. Suddenly I heard some strange noises coming from the cave. I investigated to find a horde of zombies near where I had dug down. I started killing the zombies and I was overpowering them like crazy. Ha! You fools don't stand a chance. Once I finished killing the zombies, Huggy Wuggy suddenly emerged from the hole I dug. Ah! I got scared and went back into my box. <laughs> you coward, you're not even worth the kill. With that, Huggy Wuggy went back up into the factory. I am not a coward. I climbed back up into the factory after him. On days five and six, I made it back to the factory just in time to see Huggy Wuggy run around a corner. Who's the coward now, huh? Still you. Ah! <laughs> Poppy told me I needed to destroy you. But before I do, I want to know why. Yeah, she's right. If you don't stop all the toy experiments by 100 days, we will go on a rampage and kill everybody. Oh, wait. 
They're already doing that. <laughs> Why were these experiments made? Don't know, but uh, I do know I used to be human, just like you. Wait, what? Suddenly, I had a flashback of myself as a human. I was walking up to Elliot, and then the next thing I knew, I was on an operating table, and Elliot was hovering over me with a knife. I'm sorry. This is going to hurt. Ah, ah, ah! Hmm, maybe Elliot wasn't such a nice guy after all. I looked around and realized Huggy was gone. Dang it! On days seven and eight, I continued my search for Huggy Wuggy. Where are you? I kept looking and eventually found a part of the factory that was completely blown up. What the heck happened here? What's this cake doing here? Happy birthday! How would you know my birthday? I could have sworn you said my birthday was a few days ago. I, Bunzo Bunny, know everyone's birthday. What kind of Mad Hatter Alice in Wonderland shenanigans is this? The explosive kind. Suddenly, the cake exploded in my face. <laughs> See you later, alligator. I ran off to chase Bunzo Bunny, but I was interrupted by Mommy Longlegs, who shot me with her webs. <laughs> oh, look what we have here. Ah, it's you, the freaky looking spider! Oh, Boxy, you really think you can destroy us all? What a fool! Just watch! Hiya! As I slashed my way out, Mommy Longlegs left! That's right, you better run! I then decided to continue searching for Huggy Wuggy. During days 9 through 10, I got back to the front of the factory. I was met with some villagers checking out the place. Guys, you need to leave! Ah! Unfortunately, I scared them deeper into the factory. Wrong way. Oh no, this isn't gonna end well. I then watched Huggy Wuggy find the villagers and kill them. You want some of the villager meat? No, no, I don't. Eat this. I began attacking Huggy using everything I had in my arsenal. He was very quick and he had a slash attack. Ah, do those mittens have claws? I don't think I'm gonna make it. I had no choice but to hide in my box. <laughs> Out of the blue, I gained a new smash ability. Surprise! Hiya! Ha ha! <laughs> that was too easy. Just then, Poppy showed up to congratulate me. Congrats! I have your next target. Oh boy! Watch until the end to see if I can defeat all the toy experiments. I was back in Poppy's room from days 11 to 13. I need you to go after PJ Pugapillar. Where might he be? Uh, I think he would be out in the overworld, probably chasing cats. Before leaving, I thought to ask Poppy one last thing. Do you know why the experimental toys were made? Let me tell you a story about when Elliot first made me. I was gonna be mass produced and given to every kid in the world. However, once I was made, I couldn't be released because I was too human-like. Whoa, how so? I began thinking like a human. So, Poppy, what exactly do you want to do today? I want to get my shoes polished and do my makeup. Elliot became obsessed with making toys extremely lifelike. He even went as far as turning real people into toys. That's insane. That's what happened to Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Longlegs. Wait, that's what happened to me? Exactly. And now you understand. Yes, I must eradicate all of Elliot's experiments. That might include us as well, but I don't want to think about that right now. I'll be on my way. I ventured out of the Playtime Co. factory and found my way to a village during days 14 through 17. The place looked destroyed. What happened here? Where are all these holes from? This must be where PJ was. I spotted a villager who then started to run away from me. Wait, stop. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay, I won't run. Please, tell me what happened here. There was this joke giant purple dog thing that attacked the place, demolishing everything inside. I will avenge this village and kill the one responsible. Thank you. Um, nom, 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 nom. I had no control and ate the villager. No, what came over me? I feel awful for that. I left immediately, making sure that would never happen again. As I was traveling, I decided I was gonna need somewhere to rest. I wanted to make myself a home. I gotta make something Boxy Boo themed. First, I went to find some blue and yellow flowers, and then I found an entire herd of sheep in a field. Here, sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. I made a pen for them and dyed them 
all blue and yellow. And then I bred them with some wheat I got from the village earlier. Mmm, I'm hungry. I killed a couple of them for food. With that done, I got to work building a big blue box with a giant yellow star modeled after my torso. After a while, I realized I only had enough wool to make one wall with the star. But if you want to see the entire house be created, you have to wait until the end of the video to see. I then realized I needed to make a floor. Hmm, looks like I'll have to improvise. I cut down some trees to make the floor and then put that in. Once that was done, I placed down a few beds, furnaces, and chests. Ah, no place like home. With my home finished, I started cooking the meat from the sheep and ate it. Then I decided to rest for the night. Between days 22 and 25, I awoke to spider webs all over the base. What's going on? <laughs> Who's there? Oh, hello there. What are you doing? How did you find my base? You didn't think I'd leave you alone. Did you? <laughs> I couldn't react. I was trapped in a bed of spider webs. I can't move. What do you want, lady? I saw you kill that villager. The way you did it. You're just like me. I'm not like you. I'm trying to be better. I will defeat you by the time my 100 days are up, even if it means sacrificing myself. <laughs> You can certainly try, Boxy Boo. But you know what I think would be better? What's that? You dying! And I know just who would want to kill you. Oh, kissy! Hello? Emerging from the shadows behind me was what looked like a pink version of Huggy Wuggy. I'll leave you to it then. I try not to have too much fun without me. <laughs> Pay for what you did to Huggy. I don't intend to. Kissy Missy and I battled. As I tried to get closer, she shot strange arrows at me. Get over here. You'll have to catch me first. Between her arrows and my smash attack, I was able to overpower her. But the closer I got to finishing it, the lower health I got. I need to end this. And fast. You're stronger than I thought. Let's consider this a draw. Kissy Missy began to flee, but I couldn't let her escape. I needed to catch her. Oh, playtime's over. She hit me super hard to get me off her tail, and I was down to half a heart. I had to let her get her way this time. I hope to make Kissy Missy pay for this. Keep watching to find out when I do. My search for PJ began on days 26 to 28. I stumbled upon another village. This one is also destroyed. Everything was demolished, except for one house. Interesting. Hmm, what's in here? The house was filled with all kinds of toys. It brought me back to when I was a kid. <laughs> This is so much fun, Huggy Wuggy. I love you. Then I saw myself as an adult, looking at the Huggy Wuggy statue in the factory. Wow. You're going to help make so many children happy. Suddenly, I was being chased by Huggy Wuggy. Get away, Huggy. Stop. Hey, you're there. Come in here. <laughs> Thank you. I looked away, and I saw a blue box with a star on it. You're next. I'm not. I'm not. No. I don't want to remember anymore. I just want to stop all the experiments. During days 29 and 30, I found a pillager outpost. Hmm, it's been destroyed. I wonder what happened here. As I looked around, I found something very strange left behind. A baby villager? What are you doing out here all alone? I want my mama. The baby wasn't scared of me. It just really wanted its mom. Okay, buddy. Where do you think your mom might be? There was this giant caterpillar thing. It destroyed the outpost. That's where my family and friends were. They escaped while I got stuck here. Do you want me to help find them? Yeah, that would be awesome. Together, the child and I began traveling looking for clues. Hmm, is that a campfire in the distance? Let's check it out. As we got closer, we found Kissy Missy and she was killing villagers. Run, kid. This place isn't safe. The kid booked it, leaving me alone with Kissy. Hey, Kissy, pick on someone your own size. <laughs> Feel my wrath. I lashed back at Kissy, but she was much stronger this time. You're no match for me. 
Her hits were so powerful, and I could barely do any damage on her. I can't die here. I gotta get out of this place. While escaping, I found the little kid hiding behind a tree. I'm sorry I couldn't save your family. Just leave me alone, freak. I don't want you to eat me too. Sadly, I left him all alone because that's what he wanted, and I didn't want to scare him anymore. On days 31 through 33, I was traveling from village to village. I traveled to a savanna, then to a tundra, and finally, a village close to the Badlands. All of them were totally destroyed. Well, since I'm in the Badlands, I might as well collect some terracotta. When I felt like I had enough, I started leaving the Badlands, and waiting for me there was PJ Pugapillar himself. Hey, PJ, punk, you think it's cool to go around destroying villages? Well, I just don't see it that way, Boxy Boo. I'll give you a chance to live if you stop now. I can't stop bringing joy to all of these villagers, Boxy. It's just so much fun. It's not fun for people when a giant caterpillar dog thing destroys their house and kills their family, PJ. Well, I guess you just don't know what real fun is then. He lunged at me, and we started to fight. He used his jump and smash attacks on me, and they were super powerful. Ah! <laughs> I wasn't gonna make it. He was too strong. I threw the rotten flesh to distract him, and he fell for it. Yummy! Nom, 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 nom. While he was distracted, I was able to make my escape. Hey, where'd my friend go? On days 34 through 37, I made it back to my base. I couldn't believe I'd lost against PJ. When I got back, there was something waiting for me. Huh? What's that? It was another cake with a sign that said happy birthday. Uh-oh. The cake exploded before I had a chance to run away. Ah! Not again! I needed to heal up, so I killed some sheep and cooked their meat. Then I fixed up the damage from the explosion. There! All better. Next, I continued on the walls of the base, making two more with a yellow star. After that, it was getting late, and all I wanted to do was go to bed. Wait! Ah! You scared me! Well, sorry about that, but you still need to stop PJ! He's destroying villages left and right! Aren't there any other experiments I could kill instead? Maybe Kissy Missy! No! You have to stop PJ! He's the biggest threat aside from Mommy Longlegs herself! Yeah, I could tell by the way he hit. Can it wait until tomorrow? I'm exhausted! Only if you're okay with hundreds of villages being destroyed overnight! I thought about it for a moment. Ugh. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> I can't believe you! With that, I settled down for a good night's rest. Finally, some shut-eye! But unbeknownst to me, PJ was already outside of my base, hiding, watching, waiting! One particular morning, sometime during days 38 to 41, I awoke to an unexpected guest! Good morning! Ah! I nearly fell out of my bed! How'd you find me? Never mind that. Was I a good boy? I think I was a good boy. I waited for you to wake up before saying good morning. No! Good boys don't kill people! That's a bad boy move! <laughs> I wasn't always a bad boy. PJ Pugapillar then told me about how he used to be a regular old dog. I used to be Elliot Luckwig's dog, but he would never pay any attention to me. No fetch, no walks, nothing. So what changed? He started doing experiments with little bugs. Elliot fed me a strange little caterpillar, but it hurt my tummy. And then before I knew it, I looked like this. Aww. After that, it was like I wasn't of any use to him anymore. I didn't see Elliot for over a decade. Not until you showed up and the experiment started again. I couldn't believe I was thinking this, but I kind of felt sorry for PJ. He never had a happy life. He didn't even really get to be a dog. I'll cut you a deal. You can be my dog, but only if you don't kill any more people. I could do that, Boxy. Can do. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Good boy. PJ and I went looking for purple flowers during days 42 to 45. Look, PJ, there they are. Yay, purple flowers. 
Wait, those are blue and red, not purple. Yeah, PJ, purple flowers don't exist in Minecraft, so we have to make the dye ourselves. We then made purple dye with blue and red flowers and dyed the sheep purple and bred them. Together, we sheared the sheep and then began working on a home for PJ. It was a large cave entrance that had the same teal and purple design as PJ. How do you like it, boy? I love it so much. All right, I'm going to leave you to guard the cave for now. Okay. I set off to find diamonds beneath the surface. Eventually, I found some. Awesome! This is enough to make a diamond sword, axe, and pickaxe. I spent so much time in the cave that when I came out, it was already getting dark. Good night, PJ. See you tomorrow. I then saw Poppy waiting for me at the base. Hey, Poppy! You can't trust PJ. It's a bad idea. You're over-exaggerating, Poppy. <sighs> Be careful. He might snap at any moment. Is that all you wanted? To tell me what to do? No. I know where Boogie Bot is, and you need to go find him tomorrow. Here, take this book. It has directions. Thanks. See you later. On days 46 through 49, I set out to find Boogie Bot's base using Poppy's directions. Hmm, head through the ice spikes in the tundra. Good thing I know where that is. By the time I made it to the tundra, it was dark and there was strays everywhere. Before fighting, I found a safe spot and pulled out my crafting bench to make myself a shield. All right, let's go. Yeah! I charged in and started killing all the strays, collecting their bones along the way. PJ would love these. Eventually, I made it through the ice spikes and I stopped to check my directions. Go through the jungle until you find the giant temple. Hmm. I looked around and I didn't see a jungle anywhere. Huh, guess I should just keep going straight. Now, which way is straight? I just started walking and walking and walking. Ugh, I can't walk anymore. Suddenly, I heard a voice from nearby. No, don't give up. I looked around and I saw a giant dinosaur. Whoa, hey, who are you? I'm Bron, the Brontosaurus. You look like you can use some help. That would be great. Do you happen to know where the jungle is? I do, and you're very far away from it. Follow me. Okay. On days 50 through 53, I arrived at the jungle with Braun. Awesome. Thanks, Braun. No problem, Bronzo. Lots of good eats here. Yeah, there's lots of vegetation in the jungle. Oh, no. I was talking about the natives. Oh, you're one of the experiments. I guess that explains you being a dinosaur. Oh, uh, yeah. I love me some tasty people. <laughs> I can't just let you eat the villagers that live here. Well, I'm not sure how you would stop me. In fact, you look pretty delicious yourself. Ron charged at me and started to attack. I fought back, but he hit really hard. He stomped on me with his big dinosaur feet until I was about to die. I hid in my box for protection. Ah! That tiny box will protect you. <laughs> Suddenly, in my time of need, I realized I had a new ability. It was a lifesteal. Ha <laughs> ha! Perfect! I used the ability to heal myself all the way up, and then I realized I had drained all of Bronze life force. He was dead! Ha <laughs> ha! I won! I noticed I had also gained another whole row of hearts. Awesome! No time to celebrate, though. I gotta find that boogie bot. On days 54 through 57, I was traveling through the jungle when I came across a small temple. Hmm, that can't be it. This one was so small, even if I wanted to raid it, I couldn't fit. Ugh, all right, whatever. I kept traveling until I came across another much bigger temple. This has got to be it. I saw some strange creatures trapped in cages and a bunch of tech everywhere. While exploring, I came across a green robot. Hey buddy, what are you doing here? Continuing my master work by executing his objective i am creating new experiments wait you must be boogie bot you have to stop this madness disagree he freed a monster from its cage and it leapt at me it was some kind of fire turtle and every time it hit me i would catch on fire i tried to fight it but my health was getting low so i eventually used my lifesteal attack defeating it by stealing the remainder of its life force Man, this ability is really useful. Next, it was time to fight Boogie Bot. I charged at him and he shot me with his laser. It did a lot of damage. I tried to use my lifesteal abilities on him, but it didn't work. I am a robot, fool. I have no life to steal. I had to resort to my old fighting habits. I mainly used my smash ability and tried my best to dodge Boogie's lasers. Eventually, I was able to tire the robot out. 
battery low. Will you ever stop doing experiments, BoogieBot? Negative. Experimenting is my primary objective. I hit the robot one final time, defeating it. When it died, it dropped a dormant creeper spore. Huh, looks like this stops you from taking damage from explosions. That'll come in handy against Bunzo Bunny. With that, I set all of the poor creatures free and went on my way. On days 58 through 61, I was leaving the jungle when I was stopped by Mommy Longlegs. Before I had a chance to attack her, she trapped me in her webs again. I have to congratulate you on killing all of my friends, but I have to warn you, you will not succeed in defeating me. I've gotten this far, haven't I? What makes you think I can't beat you too? We could end this right here. You fool. You really think this world is worth saving? <laughs> when I was a child, I was bullied relentlessly by the other kids just because I loved spiders. When I grew older, I went to Elliot Ludwig for help. But instead of helping me, he just turned me into this freak. But now, I can use my power to take revenge on all of those who bullied me. Just like I did with Elliot. But revenge isn't the answer. <laughs> you really are a fool. Of course it is. With that, she swung away, high above the mountains. I couldn't catch up to her, so I just cut myself free. Thank goodness she didn't attack me. I know I'm not actually ready to take her on. On days 62 through 65, I made it back to my base. Bronzo, I'm so happy to see you. Since you're being such a good boy, I brought you some bones. Who's a good boy? Bark, bark. <laughs> I needed to prepare for my next battle, so I went into the caves to look for some more diamonds. Eventually, I was able to find enough to make an entire diamond armor set. Hmm, not bad. While I was down there, I found some redstone too and searched the gravel for flint. These should come in handy later. Now it was time to make a plan to take on Bunzo. I returned to my base and found PJ. Hey Peach, do you think you could help me find Bunzo using that nose of yours? Yeah, I could do that. Great, tell him we're throwing a birthday party just for him. A birthday party? Sounds like fun. No, it's not a real party. It's gonna be a trap for him. Right, right. Good thinking. Good luck out there, pal. I went out looking for sand and dug a bunch up. Then I waited until nightfall and found a bunch of creepers. Some of them exploded, but I didn't take any damage. The ones that didn't explode would drop gunpowder. Eventually, I had enough to make a bunch of TNT. Okay, now for the cakes. I made a bunch of buckets and went out looking for cows and chickens. I milked every cow I could find and collected as many eggs as I could. I already had wheat from the villages I had passed through, so I got to work making and cakes. Okay, I've got all the ingredients I need for my plan. Now I just need to do some building. From days 66 through 70, I built a large stage and made it birthday themed. Then I made some signs that said, happy birthday, Bunzo. That should attract his attention. After a while, PJ came back to relay some information. Bunzo was coming. He really thinks it's a surprise birthday party for him. Haha, <laughs> nice job, PJ. Wait, how will you survive the explosion? Don't worry, I have a special charm that will protect me. Okay, hurry and hide. You got it. I then hid in my box and waited for the bunny to show up. Oh, wow. What are all these cakes doing here? I hope they're for me. Surprise! <laughs> wow. Thanks for throwing me my own birthday party. Birthday party? Oh, no. This was supposed to be your death day party. Death day? I then set off all the TNT cakes and waited for the grand explosion. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> Pretty ironic that Bunzo died to his own trick. On days 71 through 74, I decided to wait at home for Poppy. In the meantime, I did some building. I finally finished my box home's final wall, and PJ loved it. Looks awesome. Hmm, I'm starting to get hungry. What about you, Peach? Oh, yeah. I want some villager meat. Mmm. I kind of wanted some too, but I couldn't tell PJ that. We needed to control ourselves. We can't do that, PJ. Yeah, I know. 
Maybe we can eat the sheep now, since you don't need their wool anymore. Good idea. We slaughtered all of the sheep and ate their meat raw, but it still wasn't enough. Ugh, I'm still hungry, PJ. Me too. Luckily, before we started doing something we would regret, Poppy showed up. Hey, Bronzo. Oh, Poppy. Thank goodness you're here. Your next target is going to be Kissy Missy. Okay, I'm ready. On days 75 to 78, I said goodbye to PJ and Poppy. I'm gonna miss you guys. Same. You can find Kissy Missy in the big city. I wanna go with Bronzo. That's not a good idea, PJ. Stay and be a good boy. I then headed off to the big city. Along the way, I traveled through the desert. Eventually, I ran into some husks. Take this. The husks were attacking in numbers, but luckily I was able to kill them. Then, after the husks were slain, a huge sand elemental emerged from the pyramid. Well, this guy looks like bad news bears. The elemental was hardy and spammed fire charges, but I was able to overcome him by spamming my own lifesteal attack. Now let's see what's in this pyramid. I searched and I found a chunk destroyer. Yes, this will help me dig better since it takes out chunks rather than one block at a time. With that, I kept making my way to the city. I made it to the city for days 79 to 82. What are all these villagers running from? I better investigate. When I arrived, it was none other than Kissy Missy. Hey, old friend. Want to help me kill everyone in the city? There's only one thing I'm here to kill, and it rhymes with hissy. Is it busy, Fissy? No, it's you. Ah! Kissy was fast, and she could climb up the buildings with ease. Get back here! I tried to catch up with her, but she went way too high on top of the buildings. Ah -ha, come get me! I decided it was a perfect time to use the Chunk Destroyer. How about I bring you down? I destroyed the bottom of the building she was on top of, and then started destroying the rest of it to make sure she fell down. Whoa! I then went back down to the streets of the city to confront Kissy Missy one last time. Now, if you stop killing the innocent, I'll spare your life. Never! Then I have no choice. Hiya! Ah! After taking out Kissy Missy, all of the villagers cheered me on. Pronto, pronto, marchi, marchi. On days 83 through 85, I left the city, and I was proud that I was almost done killing all the experiments. When I made it back to the desert pyramid, I noticed something odd. There were cobwebs everywhere. Uh-oh, I think I know what this means. Just then, Mommy Longlegs emerged from the temple. Well, 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 about time you showed up. I'm not a coward anymore, Mommy Longlegs. I know I can take you out. Oh, well, you can't fight me now. You should save your energy for when you have to fight Poppy. Poppy? But Poppy's been helping me this whole time. Huh, she's not helping you. She's using you. Oh, she too has ill intentions. Mm -hmm. You better be careful. Yeah, right. You're not going to fool me that easily. I jumped into attack, but she stopped me again with her webs. Oh, this was a nice talk. We should do it again soon. <laughs> Where are you going? Get back here and fight me. I continued my hunt for mommy for days 86 to 87, but I seemed to have lost her. Where are you, mommy? I then stumbled upon a villager. Hey, I recognize you. Wait, you're the baby villager I tried to help out earlier. Wow, you're all grown up now. Yeah, <laughs> I started a bakery, and I've been really happy lately. I'm glad to hear that. Mind if I check out the new spot? Sure thing. Follow me. Once we arrived, there were cobwebs everywhere. What? No, I was only gone for a few minutes. You need to hide. Another monster is around here. Okay, good luck. I headed into the forest, yelling for mommy to come out and fight me. Come on, don't be scared. I just want to talk, mommy. Unbeknownst to me, the villager stepped back outside and mommy found him. Yeah. I wasn't able to find mommy long legs. So between days 88 and 90, I had somehow made it back to the base. Poppy was happy to see me. Welcome back. I'm so happy that you're okay. I take it things weren't well? That's right, Kissy Missy is no more. So who's next on the list? I have heard a rumor of a giant bee terrorizing a kingdom not far from here. Really? Any idea who it might be? All signs point toward it being Cat Bee, who had Boogie Bot transform her into a monster. Mm -hmm. 
Poppy then told me where the kingdom was, but I had something to mention to Poppy before I left again. You know, I ran into mommy earlier, and, well, she said some stuff about you. I, I don't- I don't follow. I told Poppy what Mommy Longlegs said about her. That's ridiculous! I have no interest in doing anything evil! Sometimes I wish I was a real girl. You know, I know it's never gonna happen, but that's why they call it wishful thinking, right? I felt bad for her, and tried to make her feel at least a little bit better. Thank you, Boxy. At this point, I just want you to end all this evil. I assure you that I will. I was about to head off, but I was intercepted by PJ Pugapillar. What's up, buddy? I want to go with you. I can help. I know I can. You know, I think you can too. Come along. With that, PJ and I departed the base for the kingdom. On the way to the kingdom on days 91 through 93, PJ and I passed by a village that looked like it had recently been fixed up. Hey, bud. Easy now. I've never seen him bark at people like that besides enemies. They're just villagers. They're not going to hurt you. PJ lunged forward and started attacking the villagers. Knock it off. I tried to stop him by hitting him with my smash attack. PJ, stop this. I kept trying to reason with him, but it was no use. He kept killing the villagers. I said, knock it off. I hit PJ in a last attempt to calm him down, but he fought back. So it's gonna be like that, huh? The last blow seemed to knock some sense back into him, but I may have overdone it. He was obviously hurt pretty bad. I ran over to him. It was worse than I thought. No, 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 no. Buddy, I'm sorry. Why did you make me do that? <sighs> say something, PJ. He was dying, but summoned up the last of his strength to say one thing. I'm sorry, Boxy. <clears throat> oh, no, no! Over the next few days of 94 to 96, I had very little time to mourn PJ's death. I need to keep moving. I have to find Cat B. After another hour or two of travel, I finally made it. But there were a bunch of killer wasps swarming everywhere. Ugh, I can never catch a break, can I? I pulled out my diamond sword and charged in. The wasps swarmed onto me with their stingers and numbers. Get away from me, you vile pests. Hiya! You're no match for my power. Eventually, with the power of my life steal, I was able to finish the rest of them off. Woohoo! That wasn't so bad. With all the jungle wasps slain, villagers poured out of the castle that they were hiding in to thank me. Their leader is still inside the Great Hall. On it. I sprinted over to the Great Hall. Oh, 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 oh. look who's here. What the heck happened to you? You don't even look like a cat anymore. <laughs> summoned a swarm of tiny bees which buzzed around me and stung me from all directions. Insolent little fool! Try these y'all besides! I was able to fend off the swarm and land a critical hit on the queen bee herself! Move! No like this! I can't die here! No. I was now victorious from this battle and the villagers came to cheer! Cat B has been slain. Yeah. yeah! Let's go! Please take this as a token of our gratitude. One of them even gave me a special accent with an ancient iron sword. What does this do? Try it out. I jumped up in the air, and when I swung the sword, it would make me do an explosion attack. This is awesome! I'm like Kirby! I thanked the villager for his gift and said goodbye to my new friends, hoping they would be fine without me here. There goes a hero. On days 97 to 98, I returned back to the base. Hey, where's PJ? I had to do what I had to do. All the experiments are gone now. What about Daisy and Candy Cat? I took care of them. Oh, okay. All that's left is you and Mommy. Do you think you can still live after all this? Not until you sacrifice yourself. You yourself know the urges that lie within you. You're right. There's one more thing I need from you before we leave. What is it? I need you to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment on what the best part of the video was. 
You got it. Everyone watching should also do it. Okay, let's go. On day 99, I arrived at the parking lot outside of the Playtime Company factory. Standing in front of it was Mommy Longlegs, right where we thought you would be. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Poppy. What are you talking about? Why were you waiting for her? So that I could do this. Mommy chucked a splash potion at Poppy, causing her to grow three times her size. <laughs> Why don't you do play a little while while Mommy gets freshened up? <laughs> Boxy, I don't feel so good. As the potion took effect, Poppy began to transform. Her dress turned black and her face distorted into an even creepier one. But Poppy? Just then, she pounced forward and began attacking me. Poppy, stop this. I don't want to hurt you. I hid in my box, hoping that this rage would pass. I don't want to do this, Poppy. But as I looked into her cold, dead eyes, I knew she was too far gone. I had to put her out of her misery. I'm sorry, Poppy. As I landed the killing blow, I caught a glimpse of the real Poppy again. Thank you. Bronzo. I stormed into the factory, angrier than ever. I'll kill you, Mommy Longlegs. I'll kill you if it's the last thing I do. Finally, it was day 100. I got inside the factory and I broke the lock to the door. Now no one can get in or out. I then heard Mommy in the distance. Did you lock me in so you could play with me forever? Oh no, no, no. I booked it and I ran into the main part of the factory. <laughs> Come out from hiding. Just then, Mommy jumped down from the ceiling. Hello, Boxy. This ends right here and now. Even if I lose, you can't get out. I've already won. <sighs> Mommy hit hard, harder than any of my other foes. She shot webs that would paralyze me. She would also use her webs to swing around and climb the walls. I had to use my smash attack and explosive iron sword just to get any hits on her. I need another plan. I began running for my life down the hallways. I stumbled upon a large furnace room. I got an idea. Hey, mommy, come play over here. Mommy ran into the room, almost falling to her death. Oh, you're stupid to try and trick me. I already did. With Mommy being so close to the edge, I used my smash ability to launch her off. No! I did it! 